Caitlin, we having you back here at Celtic Call. Thank you, Natalie. We've had a lot of memory here in, in this building, and we've been good friends for over two years. That is correct, yes. Uh, but when living with someone for that long, sometimes people feel like that hurt. And sometimes you don't get a chance to say you're sorry. So I thought when the, the time that we have here today, we went through a segment that I copied from Seth Meyers called Natalie and Caitlin Clear the Air. I'll go first. Caitlin, I'm sorry for always waking you up in the morning with my alarm. You never hear it. I know. It's very loud. Uh, well, if it was quiet, then I wouldn't be able to hear it. You don't hear it anyways. You literally have hearing loss. Well, what do you suggest? Can I make it louder? Can it even go louder? No, it cannot. Caitlin, do you forgive me? Natalie, I forgive you. Caitlin? Yes? You remember in the beginning of the year when I wanted a fish and you didn't want one? Of course. I was afraid of accidentally killing it and fish creeped me out. Well, I'm trying to be eating a fish behind your back and not telling you about it. Yeah, why did you do that? Look at him. Look at him in his little eyeballs. His little fish eyeballs. Tell me you don't love him. I guess. But we're roommates, we live together, and you should ask for my permission. All right. Well, you want me to P U F F Y. Why did you spell it instead of saying it? I'm on P N L. Caitlin, do you forgive me? Natalie, you are forgiven. <laughs> Natalie. Mhm. Mm I am very sorry for traumatizing you by throwing up in your car for the first time you drove me home for Thanksgiving break. Yeah, we were on the highway. It was really gross. I'm also sorry that my roommate tested positive for COVID like a day later and then you were worried that you would have COVID for Thanksgiving. Every time you tell me that you're sick, I feel like you're going to vomit all over me. Yeah, but can you forgive me? It was awful, Caitlin. My car reeked of vomit for the whole rest of the three hours we had together. We had to keep all the windows down and it was 45 degrees outside. Yeah, well, throwing up is actually pretty traumatizing. Mm -hmm. And you were the one who told me to get the Trader Joe's macaroons that I think made me throw up. So, do you forgive me? It did not make you throw up, Caitlin. I ate them, and I was completely fine. They, they did make me throw up. Do you forgive me? <sighs> yeah, Caitlin, I forgive you. And this has been Natalie and Caitlin. Clear, Clear the air. air.